discipline. Emphasis on responsibility, on good mind, good mindset, and good state of mind for a greater tomorrow. Thank you, sir, for this information. We want to thank you again and to plead that as a friend of Veritas University, that you come again, sir. Because the young and the growing university wants people like you to occasionally visit us. Because we know that your visit will always leave indelible mark in the university. So we appreciate your visit after this, sir. Thank you very much. And once again, we want to pray that the good Lord will continue to bless your endeavor. And as you go back, that safety will follow you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much, the registrar. In our tradition of Veritas University, your Excellency have a token to present to you as a memorial for this day. And uh, I will invite the registrar to be assisted by. To our 11th Convocation Lecturer, this is a token of appreciation from Veritas University. Thank you, sir. Let me very specially recognize in our midst a man that we are indebted to as a university, the man who was behind the establishment, construction of the structure that houses the Faculty of Law, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, join me to welcome Chief Anthony Idige San, who is here in our midst. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I have the pleasure to invite to the restroom the Registrar of Veritas University, Dr. Mrs. Stella Okonkwo, to move us on to the next phase of the convocation ceremonies. The Registrar. The Veritas University Abuja Statutes empowers the university to award degrees, give prizes and other distinctions. It also provides that the Chancellor shall preside at all meetings of the convocation held for the purpose of conferring degrees when he is present. And in his absence, the Vice Chancellor shall be the chairman at the meeting held for the purpose of awarding degrees. May I therefore respectfully invite the Chancellor to formally constitute this assembly as the 11th convocation 
of Veritas University Abuja for the purpose of conferring degrees and award of prizes, the Chancellor. By the authority vested in me by the statute of Veritas University Abuja, I now declare this assembly constituted as the 11th convocation for the purpose of conferring degrees and award of prizes. I now have the honor and pleasure to call upon the Chancellor, Most Reverend Dr. Ignatius Kaigama, the Archbishop of Abuja, to address the convocation. I adopt the protocol that has been used so far and so permit me to go straight to give my address. Of course, recognizing all the dignitaries seated on this side. It is my privilege and honor to heartily welcome you to the 11th convocation ceremony of Veritas University Abuja. We have gathered to celebrate the graduation of a crop of young students who have successfully completed their studies. We celebrate the result of hard work, commitment to studies, self-discipline, obedience to authority, and moral rectitude of the students of this prestigious university. As I congratulate the students for achieving their goal, I also commend and thank the Vice Chancellor of Veritas University, Reverend Father Professor Aysen Ichoku, and all his staff for their self steadfastness in the education and formation of our students. The labor of your hands will not go in vain. By the same token, allow me to congratulate the management as well as the entire university community for the giant strides attained so far. No doubt, Veritas University is progressively advancing to the position its founding fathers had in mind. A university that will rank among the best in the world with students who can favorably compete with the very best. I remember vividly in a brainstorming session held at the Pope John Paul's Center, Abuja, before Veritas University was relocated from the temporary site in Obiehe in Abia State to its permanent site here in Buari. One of the experts invited to brainstorm on the nature of the university was Professor Charles Soludo, the current governor of Anambra State, who repeatedly talked about a Catholic university that must have an academic and spiritual identity and nature that is very uniquely Catholic. At this juncture, let me congratulate the parents and sponsors of the graduating students who all have played key roles in and contributed to this to their success today we thank the proprietors of this noble institution the catholic bishops conference of nigeria for their collective effort and will to keep this university going i also use this opportunity to thank in a special way all those who have 
in one way or the other contributed to the infrastructural development of this university. It was heartwarming to get the news in August from the Dicastery of Catholic Education Rome establishing two new ecclesiastical faculties at Veritas University, one of theology and one of philosophy, and granting a one-year approval for the statutes of the new faculties until the procedures are formalized. Dear graduating students, after acquiring your university degree in your respective disciplines, it is assumed that you are now ripe to be given responsibilities to contribute your own quota to society as law-abiding citizens responsible young adults capable of playing a role in the national development of your country, Nigeria, and even globally as citizens of the world. The implication for a Catholic university is clear and compelling. St. Bernard of Chevaux puts it so well. There are those who seek knowledge for the sake of knowledge. That is curiosity. There are those who seek knowledge to be known by others, that is vanity. There are those who seek knowledge in order to serve, that is love. Therefore, from today, moving forward, the way and manner you carry yourselves must be as persons who are groomed and cultured. The university, the education you have gained from passing through Veritas University must transcend in the way you speak and handle affairs that concern you. Wherever you find yourselves, you must exude a certain presence and confidence as individuals who have passed through the walls of our university. Whether you choose to further your studies for a master's or doctoral degree, or decide to get a job and begin a career for yourselves, you must henceforth exude that confidence that is expected of graduates of Veritas University. You must be seen by society as young, as young brilliant minds that represent the future of this country and the beacon of hope for the next generation after you, and you must work hard to make a good name for yourselves. And to do this, you must live a life of truth and integrity. For no matter how successful you may become in the future, if you do not have a good name, then all you have worked for shall be for vanity. While thanking our professors and lecturers, I wish to remind them that they are expected to continue to be models for their students by bearing transparent witness to Christ and to the beauty of the gospel. If boys and girls are to experience the splendor of the church, the Christian example of teachers and others responsible for their formation is indispensable, and no effort should be spared in guaranteeing the presence of such witness in this university. Professors and lecturers should also develop a willingness to con collaborate among themselves. Teachers, together with parents, and board members are to work as a team for the school's common good. Their communion fosters appreciation of the various charisms and vocation that build up a genuine university community and strengthen scholastic solidarity. Educators, administrators, parents, and bishops guide the school to make choices that encourage solidarity instead of individualistic self-promotion and competition, assisting the vulnerable instead of marginalization or discrimination, responsible participation instead of indifference. St. Paul in his letter to the Philippians chapter 2 verses 1 to 4 puts it so well. <laughs> Do nothing from selfishness or conceit, but in humility. Count others better than yourself. Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interests of others. The Veritas University Chaplaincy 
should be vibrant enough in attracting students and indeed the entire community to come to know, love, and serve Jesus. The Holy See, through papal interventions and the documents of the Congregation for Catholic Education, recognizes the priceless treasure of Catholic schools as an indispensable instrument of evangelization. Ensuring their genuinely Catholic identity is the church's greatest educational challenge. At their best, Catholic schools teach young people to see the world in the light of the greatest mysteries of the faith. And those mysteries should suffuse every aspect of their education. Our Catholic schools are not immune from the problems facing public education in Nigeria today. But Catholic schools still represent one of the last viable alternatives to an education system that is fast out of touch and losing relevance. We expect our young people who pass through Veritas University to emerge as well-rounded individuals who are ready and willing to make a difference in society. In his preface to the idea of a university, John Henry Newman stated that the goal of a Catholic university should be to make its students gentlemen rather than simply to protect the interests and advance the dominion of science. Permit me to conclude by specially congratulating the first set of recipients of honorary doctorate degrees from this noble institution. Of course, as one of the recipients, I am humbled to be in good company with John Cardinal Onayekan and Sir Johnson Aru Memi Ekide, who over the course of their lives have made their mark and distinguished themselves as practitioners in the educational and aviation sector of Nigeria, respectively. No doubt, this award of honorary doctorate degree is given in recognition of our contributions towards the national development of our dear country, Nigeria. And on behalf of myself and the other recipients, I thank the university in advance, the University Senate and the Governing Council of Veritas University for finding us worthy. Again, to our graduates, I say, the certificate you now merit is because you have been found worthy in character and learning. Remain so in everything you do and wherever you find yourself as today marks the end of a phase of your formal education, you must realize that in life you never stop learning. And so I urge you to move with the tide, gain new skills, and never stop learning and acquiring new knowledge. I wish you well as you navigate the uncertainty of the future that life has in stock for each and every one of you. May the Holy Spirit of God light up your path as you seek your future. Go and conquer the world, but don't let the world conquer you and rob you of the values acquired here in this fast-growing, prestigious Veritas University. God bless you all, and thank you all for your kind attention. I now have the honor and pleasure to call upon the Vice Chancellor of Veritas University, Reverend Father Professor Hyacinth Ichoku to deliver his address. Okay. Again, standing on the already established protocol, I just want to add, you know, read this uh, address. Um, first, want to thank you for the privilege and honor for me to welcome this tailor of dignitaries, 
state and ecclesiastical and traditional hierarchies, our regulatory agency, the National Universities Commission, by chancellors of other universities, parents, sponsors, and friends of Veritas University, as we celebrate the achievement of this cohort of students for the 2021-22 graduating class. This ceremony symbolizes the completion of studies of this set of wonderful young students who over the last four years have worked hard day and night to fulfill their personal dreams, aspirations of earning a university degree. It is a significant day not just in their lives, but it is also a day of joy and fulfillment in the lives of their parents and guardians who have done their best to raise these students from the infancy to childhood and now proudly as university graduates of one of the top univers private universities in the country. And so to the graduating students, their parents and guardians, I congratulate you all as you achieve this special milestone. Also, for the first time in the history of Veritas University, we shall be conferring the award of honorary doctorate degrees to three illustrious Nigerians who have, over the course of their lives and careers, carved a niche not just for themselves but for the progress of our dear country, Nigeria, and beyond. I therefore wish to congratulate the three distinguished awardees His Excellency John Cardinal Onaikon. His, His Eminence, John Kadna Anoikon, Emeritus Archbishop of Abuja, Archbishop Ignatius Kaigama, and Sir Joseph Arumemi Ikide, on the conformment of honorary degrees of Veritas University on them. As you may all know, our last convocation, our, our convocation usually takes place in, this, in January. But for this particular convocation, we have had to shift it forward to accommodate the political events and the elections that will happen in, from January. Now, the following are some of the developments we've witnessed during the year, this current academic year. From just over, <laughs> from just over 100, 100, I mean 1,200 students in 2018, the university now has over 405, I mean 4,500 4, students as undergraduate programs. And now we also have over 300 students in our postgraduate programs. Commencement of new academic programs. I am pleased to inform you that, the, that in March last year, or rather this year, the National Universities Commission approved the commencement of four new programs in the university, namely pharmacy, nursing, medical lab sciences, and software engineering. We want to thank the Executive Secretary of NUC, Professor Rashid Abubakar, for his benign disposition towards the development of private universities in this country. And this has enabled us to obtain approvals for our programs. With the 2022-23 academic year currently running, we have, be, we have been able to admit fresh students. Currently, we have admitted over 1,500 students. The accreditation of programs. Veritas University currently offers 56 undergraduate and graduate programs across nine faculties. These include faculties of Education, Humanities, Natural and Applied Sciences, Management Sciences, Pharmaceutical Sciences, Social Sciences, Law, Engineering, Faculty of Health Sciences, and others. All these programs are fully accredited by the National Universities Commission. However, some are already currently undergoing re-accreditation as the tradition with NUC five-year program of re-accreditation. We want to thank the NUC for sending 
these teams. We have had 15 teams coming for accreditation in the la between last week and this week. So I want to thank you, pass our great thanks to the Executive Secretary. To achieve this and to be sure that we are all current with the development in the various sciences, we keep equipping, re-equipping our labs and our other, providing other facilities for our students to be sure that they get, receive top class instruction and top class education. Our students continue to excel. Among other accomplishments during this 2021-22 academic session, our debating team that went for all Nigeria University debates at UU recently were crowned the champions. They beat many other universities, including University of Lagos, University of Calabar, in Lorain, Federal University of Oweri, among many others. And they marked the champions. They are currently preparing, they are currently preparing to represent Nigeria, all Nigerian universities in Nairobi for all Africa University Championship, which is coming up from December. It. So we wish them well and I hope they will go there and become champions as well. In June next year, in June next year, 2023, they will also represent Nigeria in the World Universities Debate Championship to be held in Madrid, Spain. We want to congratulate them in advance. <laughs> Infrastructural developments. With our growing student population, we have had to double our efforts in building new hostels for our new and existing students. In the course of 2022, we have built a new hostel with a capacity for over 500 students. We are also building another 410 bed capacity hostel for, the, for female students in anticipation of increase in enrollment next academic session. <coughs> Completion of the Chike Idigwe Law Faculty. We are happy to announce that the Chike Idigwe Law Faculty has been completed and the faculty has moved into its new building. We want to thank in a special way Sir Anthony Idigwe who is here present. Can we just acknowledge him, please? Okay. So uh, he was the one who sponsored our, our law, the building of our law faculty, and we remain eternally grateful to him. That faculty will be open sometime in first quarter of next year. Faculty of Health Sciences. The construction of the Faculty of Health Sciences building is in progress and is nearing completion. The edifice is a two-story building with 24 laboratories and classrooms and 23 offices. It is expected to be completed in the first quarter of 2023. At this point, we want to thank in a special way the Honorable Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Mohamed Mohamedou Bello, for approving an MOU with three hospitals in the Federal Capital Territory that will serve our nursing, pharmacy, and medical lab science students. We also want to appreciate the Chief Medical Director of the uh, University of Abuja Teaching Hospital, Professor Bisala Ekele, for also giving us the opportunity of an MOU for our students to assess the teaching hospital for their practicals. The engineering and the innovation building is also coming up as promised by our ben one of our benefactors, Chief Kola Adesina. Upgrade of the university clinic. The university is in the process of receiving two containers of medical equipment and supplies from, the, from Project Q an American-based NGO. 
The donation of these equipment is as a result of our engagement with Project Cure to assist us in upgrading our medical facilities. The donated items will have a value of 150 million, as we hope that this will serve our labs and then our medical facilities. The chaplain's house, this has just been completed, and we are hoping that the chaplain and key, principal, key officers and um, essential service providers university will move in there. The e-library has also just been completed, and we want to thank the Knights, the Papa Knights, for their assistance in making that possible. New cafeteria has also been commissioned for the use of our students, for particularly is located in the direction of the male students. But we also want to do a new one for the female students. Assistance to our host communities. Veritas University is fully aware of its social corporate responsibilities to our, social, our host communities. We have provided these communities with boreholes, constructed overhead tanks, provided generators and pumping of water. This we did to alleviate the, the problem of search for water in these communities. We have also provided them electric transformers to ensure regular electric, electric supply to them. And of course, right now, we are doing, constructing a new, a new road for the communities. Above all, we have given them, their students, students from these communities, scholarships to study free in Veritas University. This is a way of keeping in touch with these communities. Secondly, we have, furthermore, we have also, we ensure that our military that's based here, we have 24 uh, hours military activities in Veritas University and we ensure that they patrol around with the you know within these communities to ensure our society I mean our communities are crime free. The same thing for our police. We have built a police station over there and currently we have over twenty policemen there working and ensuring peace within the communities. We face community we face security challenges but that particularly during the months of July and August this year. But by the grace of God, we are safe. And we continue to do everything possible within our powers to ensure that Veritas University remains safe. We want to thank in a very special way the, hierarchy, the military hierarchy, police hierarchy, in fact, even the commissioner of police for Abuja is shows very special interest in Veritas University and never fails to, act, to, to come to our help when we call upon him. <laughs> we want to thank Lieutenant Colonel Hassan, the, the, command, the commanding officer of the 7th Brigade Battalion, for constantly sending soldiers here, even armored vehicles sometimes, as the case may arise, and we really want to appreciate his services to Veritas University. Now, the naming of some structures in the university. The CBCN, the admin board of the CBA, has approved the naming of some structures in Veritas University. Apart from the approval of the law faculty named after Justice Chike Idibwe, we also now have the new structures named after some individuals who have played very prominent roles in the in establishment of Veritas University. B Academic Block A is now to be known as John Cardinal on Icon Building for his contributions to the founding as a major, one of the founding fathers of Veritas University. Academic Block B is now to be known as John the Baptist Building in recognition of the contributions of Knights of St. John International for the building of that faculty. <laughs> Academic Block C is now named after Archbishop Felix Alabajo, who made lots of sacrifices for Veritas University. We deeply appreciate their sacrifice. And then, block, lastly, Academic Block D has been named after Archbishop Anthony Ubina. Again, one of the founding fathers of the university. 
The chapel has been named as Father Abraham Ojefwa Chapel, and that is in recognition of the founding father of the Semulumba uh, order who built that chapel. So we want to acknowledge these contributions to Veritas University. Acknowledgements. We give praises unto God for his many mercies, particularly for protecting our students and staff from harm through the course of 2021-22 academic session, particularly towards the end of that particular session. We want to thank our proprietors, the Catholic Bishops Conference of Nigeria, for their vision of a university that is not only deep in intellectual but also moral and spiritual formation of students. All the developments in the university would not have been possible without the guidance and direction offered to, the, to management by our governing council. We deeply appreciate the leadership of council provided by our current pro-chancellor and chairman of council, his lordship, Bishop Matthew Hassan Kuka, whose intellectual depth, vision, social network have provided fresh vistas for the development of the university. We also deeply appreciate the leadership of his immediate predecessor, his lordship Godfrey Onna, whose leadership style allowed management some latitude to take some decisions that meet the demands of the moment. In a very special way, I also wish to thank the Chancellor and local ordinary, the Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kailgama, as well as the presidents of CBCN and Bistot of Veritas University, Most Reverend Lucius Ugoji, for always being available. I underline the word available. To our other awardees, John Kadna Onaikon and Sir Joseph Erumemi Ikide, I acknowledge you, you all for the great things you have done, not just for Veritas, but for our country. To our staff and students, we want to deeply appreciate the sacrifices of our staff, those who work day and night to ensure that our students receive the best of training, the best of academic and intellectual formation. Your sacrifices shall never be in vain. They, we also thank the other people who have assisted the university, but now we want to say a word or two to our graduating students. To our graduating students, I, I once again congratulate each and every one of you on your successful completion of studies at Veritas University. As you proceed to, to move on to li with life, I urge you all to be good ambassadors of Veritas University. As graduates of this institution, you have been well educated and trained to face the challenges of life. March on with confidence as Veritas University has offered you some of the best academic training in any Nigerian university. Always have a positive disposition. I'm so happy to hear the, the, the lecture we've just had. That positive disposition. That I can do spirit, which we are all urged to adopt. So always have a positive disposition Stay in touch with each other, build a formidable network, for individually you can do, go far, but collectively you can break barriers. And in the nearest future, when you have become captains of industry across the world, never forget your humble beginnings at Veritas University. Never forget this, for you are you and always will be Veritas in heart, mind, and spirit. It has been a great pleasure for me being your Vice Chancellor. We wish you well. May God bless you as you go on your way in life. Chancellor and Chairman of the Governing Council, Your Lordship, I now have the honor and pleasure to call upon the Pro Chancellor, 
and Chairman of the Governing Council, His Lordship, Most Reverend Dr. Matthew Hassan Kuka, the Bishop of Sokoto, to deliver his address. Thank you very much. Uh, our guest speaker, guest lecturer, has my permission to leave, so he's not departing in protest. Um, let me, for very obvious reasons, uh, stand on existing protocol, even though, as you can see, despite standing on existing protocol, I'm not taller than... Uh, I'm not going to bore you. I have a speech which is already included in the program. It just remains for me to pick a few paragraphs and then the rest of the speech you can read because we came here to honor those who deserve to be honored. Um, the Catholic Church is not new to education in general and higher education in particular. The idea of a university, to borrow the words and title of a book by the famous Oxford University scholar, now sent John Newman, is original to the Catholic Church. Because we know from history that such prestigious universities today, like the universities of Bologna, universities of Paris, University of Cambridge, Salamanca, Oxford, among many others, started out through the instrumentality of the Catholic Church. I say so just to signpost the fact that you are in very good hands. Some critics, and I believe many of you are familiar, have tended to think that somehow the Catholic Church in particular is against religion and against, I'm sorry, it's against science. And a lot of that has often been said. We've often been accused of that. But the records show and lead us to a completely different conclusion because in such areas of science today as we have, from astronomy, atomic energy, geology, Egyptology, international law, seismology, among many others. Many of these sciences were nurtured, not only in Catholic universities, but also in many respects by Catholic priests. Veritas University, as you've already been told through the Vice Chancellor, we have an idea about where it started and where we are today. But I just thought it's important that just for the sake of the records, for us to pay very special respect to those who whose instrumentality uh, bettered the university in its permanent site. But before then, there were quite a lot of illustrious sons of the church who made a lot of sacrifice. And I believe that Professor Kwanashi and Professor Ichoku have built on the foundation, and are by that expression, standing on the shoulders of other great men and women, Professor Ofebu, who was later replaced by Professor Justin Okong, of blessed memory, served as vice chancellors. And we acknowledge and appreciate them, and we ask God to grant eternal peace and eternal rest to Professor Justin Okong. Professor Kwanashi, Professors Kwanashi and Hyacinth Dichoku, the current vice chancellor, in them we have witnessed a steady progress in the vision of the university. As you can see, between the last convocation and now, the landscape of Veritas University is changing greatly in content and also in beauty. More buildings are coming up, new departments are emerging, and as you will read from the, as you've already heard from the Vice Chancellor's report, Veritas will sooner than later become the university of choice for those who believe in education with a sound moral foundation. We acknowledge and thank immensely our great benefactors within and outside the Catholic faithful who have continued to make sacrifices to ensure the realization of this dream. And we ask God to bless you all. We intend to take full advantage of being in the same city with the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the members of the National Assembly, the ministers, the diplomatic community, the international non-governmental non organizations, and so on. Our dream is to make Veritas the university of choice but in terms of physical beauty and geographical coordinates, but also by way, by way of a metaphor, a university that shares the ethos, speaks, relates, collaborates, communicates with government at the highest level. It is the reason why we chose 
the convocation lecturer that we did choose today. We are proud, and the Vice Chancellor has already indicated, of the accomplishment of our young students. We encourage them, and we hope that they will come back with the prize. The choice of our lecturer was deliberate. In Raji Fashola, SAN, former governor of Lagos and minister of works and housing, we found a man of distinguished moral stature, a firm work ethic, a fit on the ground intellectual scholar, a measured idealist, and perhaps one of the nation's most outstanding lawyers and technocrats. He has a sound knowledge of where the world is going, and I believe his lecture did not disappoint. He has an idea of what it will cost for us to get a ticket to travel on that train. He has a calculated sense of urgency, in, and his acceptance to deliver this lecture is a huge bonus for us. So even in his absence, I say to his chair, thank you very much. By way of conclusion, I wish to congratulate our distinguished citizens who are being honored today, namely His Eminence, Cardinal John Cardinal Onaikan, His Grace Archbishop Kaigama, and one of the illustrious sons of Nigeria, but also a Catholic in whom we are well pleased. Justice, I mean, sorry to say, Chief or Doctor or Sir Arumemi Johnson. You will notice, and I'm sure the women will have taken notice of the fact that a woman is not on the list. It wasn't supposed to be so. We had a woman actually, she accepted the offer, but because as a policy we are starting, we will not give out an award in absentia. And because of a conflict in our schedule, it was not possible for her to be. So I apologize to our women, but there is a reason why we don't have a woman here. We'll make sure that the next convocation, the next award is a woman will be included. So to parents, we thank you for making Veritas University an institution of choice for your words. I want to assure you that by sending your children to us, you have invested your resources well. Veritas will do well to ensure that when we return your investment to you, you will be happy with the profit. We thank the academic and non-academic staff who have kept Veritas as an island in a country which is surrounded by oceans of strikes. Our fees remain very modest, but please understand that retaining good staff comes at great cost. Although we have modestly raised what our staff receive, we are not unaware of the fact that we are not anywhere near where we ought to be in terms of commending and appreciating them for their sacrifices. We wish to thank you, but also to assure you of our solidarity and our support. I'm personally still convinced that the reward of a teacher is beyond anything material. You are doing an excellent job, but when you look up in your old age and you see what your students have accomplished, there could be no substitute for the pride of knowing that you had a hand in molding that leader. Every young man or woman, every young man or woman sent, his, sent here is sent to us as a trust. Recall the words of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States. When he, fent, when he sent his son to school, the very first day, he handed a, le a letter to the teacher of his son. And among other things, he said in the letter, So dear teacher, quote, So dear teacher, will you please take my son by his hand and teach him things he will have to know Teaching him, but gently if you can. Teach him that for every enemy, there is a friend. He will have to know that all men and women are not just, and that all men and women are not true. But teach him also that for every scoundrel, there is a hero. That for every crooked politician, there is a dedicated leader. End of quote. So please, we don't have... A monopoly of crooked politicians. Finally, my dear graduates, by graduating today, you have won a battle. Our gathering here is a full bouquet of love and it's our congratulations to you. However, graduating from is easier than graduating to. You have graduated from Veritas and now you are graduating to the University of Life. 
The steering wheels of your life are firmly in your hands and now all you have learned will determine how you navigate to the finishing line of your life. We are convinced that what you hold in your hands, namely a certificate from Veritas University, can be cashed in any bank anywhere in the world. We are convinced that the certificate you have from Veritas is a multiple entry visa to any nation, a badge of honor that will open doors for you. By graduating from Veritas, you have become an ambassador of truth. So as you take off, sail beyond your comfort zone, seeking friendships and partnerships beyond borders, beyond faiths, and beyond ideologies. You are equipped to change the world. By choosing Veritas University, your parents heeded the wise counsel of Robert Frost, the poet, who concluded in his famous poem, The Road Not Taken. Quote, Two roads diverge in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. By choosing Veritas University, you chose the road less traveled, and you'll make a difference in the world. The world is now your oyster, and it has been paid for. Enjoy it, and God bless you. I now respectfully call upon the vice chancellors of other universities or their representatives to give their goodwill messages. May I respectfully stand on all existing protocol? I am Professor Agbo J. Madaki, representing the Vice Chancellor of Bayes University, Abuja, Nigeria, whom, for good cause and reason, is unavoidably absent here today. His goodwill message. Reverend Father Professor Heisen E. Ichoku. VC, Veritas University, Buari, Abuja. On behalf of the members of Bayes University community, Abuja, I write to felicitate and congratulate your university on the auspicious occasion of its 11th convocation ceremony, holding on the Saturday, 3rd December 2022. We are delighted to be associated with a university with such tremendous and outstanding achievements. Our sincere wishes and prayer are for the Almighty to continue to guide the university and write in all its activities, wishing the university more prosperous years ahead. Please accept the assurances of my highest esteem and regard, Professor Tahi Maman, OONSAN Vice Chancellor. Good afternoon, everyone. Please, may I also stand on the existing protocol? Um, as a result of time, and um, to all the graduates, I congratulate you. On behalf of the Vice Chancellor, Federal University of Lafia, Professor Shehu Abdul Rahman, I want to send this um, message to you all and the beautiful team of the Veritas University that are here, the management staff, for the good job done. On behalf of the council, the governing council, senate, management and staff of the Federal University of Lafia, we bring you greetings and warm felicitation. 
We congratulate your governing council, senate, management staff, and graduating students of the university on the occasion of our 11th convocation lecture and conferment of honorary degrees. We commend the Vice Chancellor, Reverend Father Prof. Hyacinth E. Ichoku, for his dynamism and unique disposition in keeping the dreams of the founding fathers of the university alive. As, we can, as, as can be seen in today's academic harvest, we salute your courage and determination to run a university especially in the days of our difficult times. We are hereby happy to identify with you and to also rejoice with you on this joyful occasion. We look forward to a continued and sustained collaboration between our institution in the years ahead, as our experience may mutually be beneficial. I thank you and I welcome you all. I remain Dr. Upe Joseph Upe, representing the Federal University of Lafayette. Thank you. Good afternoon all. Uh, I want to congratulate my brother, Vice Chancellor, uh, the staff and especially the students, Vice Chancellor of Philomath University, Abuja. This is a very special day. I am not going to bore anyone here. Uh, this is day for the students because we as an academic staff, we are having a lot of convocations in our life. But this is the first and I think, I bet the, the most important one for the graduates and convocation to or convocation from that was a good point i think uh, the life is just starting and i uh, hope all of you guys are going to get a very good position in life and will never regret that you are a graduate of uh, this beautiful citadel of learning thank you so much Permit me to adopt the already established protocol. My Vice Chancellor, Professor Laemi Akewumi of the Federal University of Lokoja, would have loved to be here personally. But right now he is playing host to the first set of PhD students of the Institute of Governance and Development Studies of our university. He therefore sent me, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration of the University, Ablai Emmanuel Bala, Professor of Hydrogeology, to deliver his goodwill message. It is with great delight I write on behalf of the Federal University Lokoja Governing Council, the Senate, management, and staff and students to felicitate with you on this auspicious event of the 11th Convocation Ceremony of the Veritas University. The enviable height the university has attained academically and infrastructurally among its counterparts within and outside Nigeria is quite commendable. The products of Veritas University, having received quality training in both character and learning, will no doubt make marks both within and outside the shores of Nigeria. We are pleased to associate with you in this demanding task of providing quality education in Nigeria and your efforts in maintaining global standards in our higher education system. This will place Nigerian universities in the committee of world-class universities undertaking applied researches and practical 
community service. We rejoice with you on this historic event as you send forth the 11th set of your graduates as worthy ambassadors to the world. We wish you more successes ahead. Signed, Professor Olayemi Akewemi, Vice Chancellor of Federal University of Lekwaja. Vice Chancellor, sir, permit me to align myself with the already established protocol. Greetings from the first private university, Igbenedian University, Okada. I am Dr. Blexi Nose Oligbi, representing the Vice Chancellor. I read his message. I write on behalf of Governing Council, Senate, staff, and students of Igbenedia University, Okada, to felicitate with your university on the occasion of 11th convocation ceremony holding on Saturday, 3rd December 2022. We are glad to share the joy of this occasion with you and are confident that your institution would continue to keep to your mandate of producing quality graduates who will contribute tremendously to nation building with positive global impact. It is indeed a thing of joy for IUO to be associated with Veritas University on this great occasion. While wishing your university a particular 11th convocation ceremony, please be assured of the good way and esteem regard of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Lawrence, Ikechuku Ezemoye, PhD, FAS. Congratulations to Veritas graduates. dignitaries at this convocation, graduating students, other ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Oro Ufuo Oro. I am representing Professor um, Yakubu Ochefu, who is the uh, Executive Secretary of the Committee of Vice Chancellor of Nigerian Universities. He sends a goodwill message. Dear Reverend Father Professor Heisen Ikoku, I write on behalf of the Committee of Vice Chancellors on, of Nigerian Universities to extend sincere congratulations to you on the occasions of the 11 convocation lecture and conferments of honorary degrees, ceremonies of Veritas University Buari. Esteemed VC, sir, your untiring dedication to promotion, to promoting the progress and expansion of the academic via innovation, teaching and learning, and cutting edge research is plaudible. Yours and the entire Veritas University's uncompromising effort to produce not just graduates, but agents of national transformation cannot be overlooked. We are most proud of you. The CVCNU heartily celebrates and is truly honored to be associated with you and the great institution. Best wishes of never ceasing excellence in all your endeavor. Congratulations. To all the graduates and proud parents, as well as various awardees of the ceremony, do have a memorable celebration. Sincerely, Yakubu A. Ochefu, PhD, FHSN, MNAL, Professor and Secretary General. 
bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. I have the honor to invite the representative of the Executive Secretary of NUC to deliver his address. Your Excellencies, please permit me to stand on the already established protocol. I bring you very warm greetings from the Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission, Professor Abubakar Adamu Rashid, who even though it's a weekend because of uh, his exigencies of office, couldn't make it for this convocation uh, ceremony. But he has asked me to wish the university well and to convey his best wishes for a very successful uh, convocation and to deliver his goodwill message. It is a great honor and privilege for me to present this address at the 11th Convocation Ceremony of Veritas University Abuja. And uh, it is important for us to know that convocations are age lord academic traditions for the award of degrees that universities, students, parents, and indeed all stakeholders look forward to. As a matter of fact, depending on the program studied, most of the graduate students today have spent between four to five years in the academic pursuit at the university. For others, having obtained their undergraduate degrees, they return to improve themselves through postgraduate training and have today added another feather to their caps. This is by no means a mere feat as a lot of resources, commitment, sacrifice, and determination on the part of the students, staff, parents, government, and other stakeholders have contributed to the success story being told here today. I must therefore congratulate the founders of Veritas University, the Catholic Bishops Conference, the Chancellor, Pro-Chancellor, Governing Council, Vice-Chancellor, Senate, staff, students, and parents for this great achievement. Let me reiterate that no nation has undergone appreciable socio-economic development without remarkable trans transformation in its education system. Education will therefore remain a high priority of government in its drive to avail Nigerians full access to educational services that will guarantee them competitive opportunities and advantages to effectively drive the economy. Consequently, the National Universities Commission will continue to encourage Nigerian universities to build very strong internal quality assurance mechanisms. It is when this becomes a culture within a system that we are able to guarantee uh, quality attainment, maintenance, and improvement. The absence of strong internal quality assurance culture will only promote window dressing during exercises like accreditation or other external visitations with the universities reverting to status quo after such assessment. The involvement of the private sector in the provision of university education in Nigeria has positively impacted the Nigerian university system and positioned it to overcome challenges of access that has denied prospective candidates the right to university education. While the country is still grappling with this challenge, NEC believes that in no distant time as the current capacities of the private universities increase, the challenges of access will become a thing of the past. As a quality assurance agency, the Commission believes that quality must occupy the front burner in Nigerian universities and must, be, and must not be comp compromised in our bid to solve the challenge of access. Consequently, the, the Commission over the years has evolved a system that ensures quality from the establishment of universities through program establishment, effective physical specialization, accreditation, expansion and monitoring, and other quality assurance measures. Your Excellencies, my Lord Spiritual and Temporal, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the ability of Nigeria with its huge population and with all its uh, high potential to, become, uh, to overcome its present challenges of development and emerge as, a, as an economic force no longer depends on the petroleum resources that it possesses, but on the ability of the nation to develop its human capital. In the bid to produce graduates that will be relevant to national needs and aspirations as well as be internationally competitive, 
the NEC embarked on a comprehensive review of the curriculum of Nigerian universities, deploying a multi-stakeholder approach involving the academia, representatives of the academies, professional bodies, and the private sector. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to inform you that the curriculum of the 17 academic disciplines in the system will be unveiled on Monday, 5th December 2022, as one of the activities to commemorate NUC at 60. The Commission expects that the curriculum will promote innovation in every university, thus enabling them to cut a niche for themselves academically and to contribute to nation building and national development. It is therefore incumbent on university managers to embark on continuous training and retraining of academic staff to bring them abreast of current developments in their respective areas to make the outcome of the curriculum uh, review successful. Veritas University was issued its provisional license to operate a, as a private university in May 20, 2007, but it commenced academic activities in October 20, 2008. Its growth and development within a relatively short space of time is no doubt commendable. It is important to mention that all NEC approved programs of Veritas, Veritas University due for accreditation have been accredited and none has denied accreditation. <laughs> Veritas University, I beg your pardon, is encouraged to continue to build on its achievement as the guarantee for quality can only be hinged on continuous improvement. At this juncture, I congratulate the graduating students for this outstanding feat. You are from a wide vista of disciplines you are the potential experts, future leaders, and the next generation solution providers in various sectors of our national life. Many of you will in fact progress to be our ambassadors beyond the shores of this country. Your parents, teachers, and indeed the nation have invested greatly in you. The opportunity has now come for you to make manifest the dividends of the investments on you. Everywhere you go and anywhere you find yourself, you owe Veritas University the obligation to be its good ambassador. May the Almighty God crown your future endeavors with resounding success. Your Excellencies, the Chancellor of Veritas University, my Lord Spiritual and Temporal, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your attention. Honorable Chancellor, Your Grace, I now call upon the deans of the following faculties to present their students who have satisfied the requirements pres prescribed by the Senate of Veritas University and who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to first degree of the university. I now call upon the Dean, Faculty of Education, to present the candidates for the conferment of the degrees of the Bachelor of Education, the Dean. Will all graduates of the Faculty of Education please stand? <laughs> Honorable Chancellor, Your Grace, I present to you candidates from the Faculty of Education, including those who for good cause are unavoidably absent but for which I stand proxy, who have been found worthy, both in character and learning, for the confirmation of the degree of the Bachelor of Education.
only first class graduates will come up to the restroom. Others will collect their jackets from here. All right, okay. Okay. By the authority vested in me as Chancellor, okay. and by the authority of Senate, I confer on each of you, both those present and those who for one good cause are unavoidably absent, but for whom the Dean stands proxy, the degree of Bachelor of Education. Uh, for purpose of uh, avoidance of doubt, I'm going to call out the names of the students, but only the first class students will come to the podium to have a handshake with the Chancellor. All the others will remain where you are and you collect your jackets of graduation. Thank you very much. Um, the first candidate with first class Please, the first class graduates would come up to the restroom to have a handshake with the chancellor. Only the first class graduates. Others will file out and collect their jackets just on the floor. Only the first class graduates will climb up to the restroom. Thank you very much. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, whether you are on the ground or you are on top, all of you are first class students, all right? Yeah, the camera should please clear up the space for my students who will file out, please, before there is conflict of contact. Um, my first class student is Yomene Sarah. Tara Maragbeta, uh, who has uh, 4.59 first class. Uh, the second first class, who is uh, from Educational Foundations, uh, is Ikegu Eurofemia Nkechinyere. All right, and then um, the next first class student from guidance and counseling is Obi Augusta Ogechi. All right, all the other students that you can now just hear your name and just file out. Um, from Education Economics, we have Idowu Precious Toluwani. Please start coming out. Omotola Yemi Mary Stella. From Education English, we have Simon Elizabeth Hembe. Ikpek J. David Victoria Uwema. Etim Bernadette Clement. Uh, Pila Comfort Terumbu. From Educational Foundations, we have Obasi Roslyn Oluchi, Onuegbu Ifeoma Jane, Umohata Idara Emmanuel, Olga Janet Dajie, Epe Gloria Chingwoke, Asoegbu Vivian Ifunanya, Oji Alice. Nwadugu Udo Epo Rita John Emmanuel Esther Onyebuchi Gloria Chika Ore Michael Mary 
uh, Uduak, Maria, Opo. The following students from Guidance and Counseling, Maris Agatha, Ugochi, Onosie Denisa, Orie Kose, uh, Bengi, Confidence, ha, ha, Hama, Danjuma Felicity, Utwebu Justin, Atujuku. We have uh, Ore Weme Daniel Oselu Meso. And finally, from science education, we have Efen Christopher Angela. I now call up upon the Dean, Faculty of Humanities, to present the candidates for the conferment of the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, the Dean, Faculty of Humanities. Honorable Chancellor, Your Grace, I present to you a um, candidate from the Faculty of Humanities, including those who for good cause are unavoidably absent, but for which I stand proxy, who have been found worthy, both in character and learning for the conferment of the degree of Bachelors of Arts. By the authority vested in me as Chancellor and by the authority of Senate, I confer on each of you, both those present and those who for one good cause are unavoidably absent, but for whom the Dean stands proxy, the degree of Bachelor of Arts. And may I now invite all the graduates in the Faculty of Humanities to first to please rise. And as you heard earlier, only those with first class mentioned from each of the department will climb the restroom respectfully and have a handshake with the Chancellor. I'll begin with the uh, uh, Department of Le English and Literary Studies. Thomas Anna Temitayo Nadi Ihonanya Uwama Tukura Deborah Shedrak Yahaya Peshen Joan Yashim Shiaha Jail. Feyi Sike Joachim Rosemary. George Babatunde Konate. History and International Relations. First class. El Nisi Mikiyat Samuel. Faith Johnson Pankri. Lucy Yinaden Moses Alberto Ogunshaye Ishaba Uchechi Scholastica Ekuma Kama Ebere Mercy Samuel Jen Odion Omuriye Listen, these others are not first class. Please. Genevieve Olichi Ebigbo, Monica Landy, Grace Nguemo Imo, Miracle Emanuela Akuke, Victoria Igbe Mbede, Joy Ene Itodo, Helemanyi Bachia Lawal, Divine Sasuti 
Yaduma, Chizam Sinde Olibo, Martina Oshama Ogben, Princess Ene Idoko, Ibikunalua Victoria Adeyemi, Chinye Stephanie Uchendo, Adamu Nita, Maris Julius Sareke, Mary Obiageli Ifaucho, Yakura Hana Peter, Mariam Oiza Uma, Teresa Abel, Tabita Rank, Yojo Abu Umuru, Ebuna Moshe Emeka, Jamaima Ishaya, Mary Lane Ifoma Ifacho, Oba Jefferson Abo, Chidra Victoria Eze, Red Christos Ayuba, Dan Fulani Emmanuel, Joshua Oyiman Akambo, The rest from the same department are Mary Rose Chigozie Ndoko, Omangeni Tonia Ajuma, Meseko Peace Olufunke, Kenny Miriam Igboneko, Miracle Egbre Jonathan, Abeshi Alaki Habiba. Kenechi Ihe Gogo, Ehigioya Joshua Osheba Yemen, Christopher Matthew Okweche, Israel Favor Tumunukumba, Maji John Bude Alifa, Oyebuchi Ifonanya Emanuela. Marvelous Sheyimi Musa Ilo Chidima Fausia Mohammed Obede Hilda Zanang Akwaza Tola David Lawal and Isaac Tame David. Now the Department of Philosophy. We have one first class student, namely Okereke Levinus Chimezel. The rest of the classes are Ago Kingsley Ndubize, Adejo Awodi Godwin, Dominic John Peter, Dauda Abba. Ambrose Uko Monde Onyeneke Emmanuel Somtochi Obiako Augustine Jibrin Achille Samson Imogu Kenechuku Ogenemaro Others in that um, department of philosophy, the second first class is Odibo Benedict Ngozi first class. The rest are Musa Augustine Ibrahim, Uche Ekaji Isaac, Andrew Julius Isuni, Ila Isaac, Ngon Blessed Chad, Uche John Chika, Thomas Moses Bonyet, Joseph Emmanuel Baje Jen, County York Kingsley Magaji, Tokdima Emmanuel Danjuma, Azenda Sefas Dajo, Ali Solomon Matthias, Oshi Felix Sylvester, Vincent Kingsley, Jonah Sheikh Weya. Habakkuk, Tonugu Benedict Tordwell, 
Avon Ruben Arhamdo, Jacob Thomas Kalo Wole, Okoha Emmanuel Friday, Paul Lucius Karam, Daphael Rashak Isaac, Joseph Jonathan, Ngek Leopold Shibu, Peter Kephas, Nuhu Shedrach Sayeyang, Stephen Kephas, Emmanuel Samuel, Abu Nuo Nathaniel, Matthias Andrew Malaki, Shamaila Alexander Ayuba, Ume Collins, Joseph Timothy Nomdi, Wisdom Danuya Bakam, Philip Peter Gaskia, Emmanuel Augustine Wenom, Hazani Bartholomew Galadima, Ishaya Samuel, Philip Paul Kaskia, Dan Liti Samino, and Hazan David Ishayaku. Department of Religious and Intercultural Studies. We have two students with first class. The first one is Oteku Masa Odion, first class. Another first class is Epundu Gerardine Ozioma. And the rest are Okesabo Gabriela Omeye, Dominic Emanuela Ute Wojo. Finally, the Department of Theology. We have two students with first class. The first one is Olaye Vincent Oluwatimi Lehin Vincent Olaye. The next first class is Ogunu Alexander Opeyemi. Other classes are Olani Olani Ye Thomas Aleke, and finally Njoko Samuel Anthony. Thank you very much. Um, as a word of reminder to our graduating students, you are not expected to leave this hall until the end of the program. It's just to remind you again, you are not expected to leave this hall until the end of the program. Honorable Chancellor, Your Grace, I now call upon the Dean, Faculty of Management Sciences, to present the candidates for the conferment of the degrees of Bachelor of Science. The Dean, Faculty of Management Sciences. Okay. Please will uh, all graduates of the Faculty of Management Sciences stand. Honorable Chancellor, Your Grace, I present to you candidates from the Faculty of Management Sciences, including those for good cause are unavoidably absent, but for which I stand proxy, who have been found worthy both in character and learning for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Science. By the authority vested in me as Chancellor 
and by the authority of Senate, I confer on each of you, both those present and those who for one good cause are unavoidably absent, but for whom the Dean stands proxy, the degree of Bachelor of Science. Okay, thank you. I will call the graduates now according to department and uh, classes of degrees. If you have first class, please you go by my left and have a handshake with the chancellor. And if you have other important degrees, you go by my right and collect your jackets. Thank you. I will start with accounting. Ilo Victor Uchenna has the first class. The next person is uh, Shoretire Ifeoluwa Emmanuel, first class. The third person is Olorotumba Idowu Sicilia, first class. The fourth person is Pensho Theodore Senwu, first class. The following student graduates have second class upper. Pius Charles, Idoku Gifte Ehi, Atabong, Kate Megantesi, Eke Priscilla Olohi, Jeremiah Mary Uzeze, Aziegbe Echioya Ferdinand, Oga Gloria Uke, Wachuku Pasca Chinedu, Ndem Mambe Binko, Efedua Francis, Oko Miracle Oluchi, Umosha Adobe Merian, Akpan Ema, Emadion Odoro Mese, Efion Asomta Okun, Sunny Joy John, Udo Udeme Sunday, Boyo Joe Ayiri, Usman Serena Afunu, Achimugo Christian Eleo Joe, Akabu Barnabas Ojo Chebe, Time Manessa Denen, Ede Samta Shiwendo, Akiede Emmanuel Bolu, Lawal Haleba Ati Hamidu, Bako Marian Kande, Enedu. Francis Chijoke, Chukuwendo Eugenia Mesoma, Ugwa Joel Obina, Anya Okinsley John, Alonge Favor Adeshola, Amusu Dega Joel, Belo Ayebata Moses, Second class lower, I know Olua Tobi Sian, second class lower, and Chukudum Chiamaka, second class lower. The following had third class, please. Can I go ahead? Thank you. Uh, Pam Don. Pam Don. Kaios, Idris Anissa Afegua, Abu Enyo Gloria, Ako Matthew Terulum, Basi Augustine Asukwo, Oken Deche Luchu, Kwasao Sambo Wasen. I am now in the Department of Banking and Finance. I have Obia Prince. Raymond, he has second class low upper, second class upper, please. Fashanu Agape Pelumi, Pelumi, second class upper. Business admin department, I have uh, Tonje Jeponga, second class upper. Samaya Jacinta Zungbem, second class upper. Ufusa Paul Ishan, second class upper. Abdullahi Bikisu Abu, second class upper. Kanu Chizoba Stefan, second class upper. Yes, please. 